Mascus, oh, yeah? Insidious, that I'm sure is going to turn up sooner or later. Um, but this is for the first ever Obelisk uh, top four Academy finals. Semi finals. Yeah, for Academy League. Yeah. Um, I've got the bracket up in front of us here. We've got Templi, James, Ark, LeBounty, and Suski. Now, before we start any of the matches, who is going to win? Obviously, James and Templi are in a favourable position right now. Yeah, I, I think, I think the favourite will be James. I think that's what everyone, and I think he obviously everyone thinks he's the favourite. Even Templi was quite nervous to go up against James. Um, but yeah, anything could happen. Templi has been a little bit of a, a mystery rogue horse, so he could he could snatch it from him. If James isn't, you know, actually. I mean, Insidious will be out of a lot of money if Templar wins. Just... <laughs> Is that the first thing I hear? <laughs> All right, <how's> it going? <laughs> but yeah, um, if you don't know, uh, Insidious has been running a little gambling ring on the side, and he put super low odds on Templar, and now he's in like the most favorable position to win the entire thing. I how much will you be minus? <laughs> What's up? How much will you be minus Insidious? Oh, it's like a 500 bucks. It's nothing. Yeah, n- nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Just chill. Uh, the reason I gave Templi those odds is because I don't know him. He's the least experienced player in the top four remaining. He's still learning the game. Uh, his matches up to um, Obelisk weren't the most impressive. So I gave him those odds, but I'm happy that he's doing well. I mean, yeah, he I- earned that's very sporting of you. <laughs> I would be <laughs> praying that he fails, um, <laughs> personally. <laughs> but that can... and James is my last chance because if, if he Templi wins, he's like he's pretty much winning it. Yeah, for sure. It should be interesting though, um, James. It's because I've seen Templi test against Warriors, uh, so he's taking it seriously, like he should. Uh, James just has more experience, and should be a good game. Yeah, for sure. Um, and I just want to talk about how well you you said you like had a little bit of insight on how people got to where they are in Obelisk in the first place. Um, yeah, give me a second. Suski, for example, I would say it's probably had the easiest run up to um, Obelisk because he was very very early on um, mm-hmm. playing his slifers when. Uh, Academy League wasn't even known, or mm-hmm. uh, also not confirmed to have Worlds invites attached to them, as well. So um, you got to give it to him. He had the passion to play, and there was no incentive to win. So yeah, you know, for sure. yeah. Suski's <laughs> toughest matchup was against Zazzles. He was the, uh, but he did qual. Zazzles did play in the Goat, Goat Worlds, so yeah, that's a good opponent. Besides that, he went six and zero up until. When he lost to James in the first round in top in a obelisk, I believe. Oh yeah, he's gone undefeated for sure. Yeah, that, that's the first game in the entire league that he's lost, and he has played a lot of brackets. Yeah, um, and he's eliminated a lot of people as well. Mm. Uh, I think James has the best oppor- opportunity though. Um, he defeated MF, WGM twice, Zazzles, Yamieg, uh, Donnie P, and now Yusuke and uh. uh for sure, these are all very good players that you're listing as well. Yeah, so I think James, he should be most favored. He's playing Chaos Warriors with a flip engine. Mm-hmm. Um, very strong deck, especially in his hands. Uh, get, between Suski and uh, LeBounty, that's going to be a fun matchup. <laughs> they both know their goats. Uh, LeBounty has more experience because he's one of those OG players that actually would play during the real go format. And he's also playing a Warrior Toolbox deck. So it's going to be interesting to see how Sivsky battles that. Yeah, for sure. Um, we're going to start off with Templi and James Ark. I'm going to set them off yep. now. Um, I've just told them to play, so I'll wait for them in Dueling Book. Um, but out of those two, who are we um, Who are we betting on for these two? I think James still. I think your money is I safe. Think- and again, it's it's go format. Anything can happen. Clearly, they, these guys are good enough to be make it this far. So it, it really does will come down to who sides better and who draws the better cards. With that being said, I think Temp, uh, James has 
more cards that are good and versatile than um, Templar. I think he should be able to win 2 1. No more money, though. I, I can't lose more money. <laughs> hmm. right, here we go. Game's up. Okay. I'm just, uh, I'm just on James off right now. I don't see it still. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been talking about trying to He's do it so that it's all good. Yeah, James is hosting. Can you just there confirm, it is. Can someone just confirm for me that the, uh, st the stream's up? Yeah, it was not up on either YouTube or Twitch for a while, so it's yeah. up now, though. That's I the, see it that's here. That's just the delay, I think. I think they started. Yeah. We will post it yeah. in. Oh, it's in announcement time. Great. Okay. I was trying to troubleshoot it with everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always a bit, um, always a bit of a rough start on these. It's okay. We're good now. We are good. Uh, ooh, <laughs> that's the start starting with the duo. I have no idea where the match is. <laughs> um, just oh, there it is. This team. Oh. Oh. <sighs> He's got a rough choice right out of the gate. Yeah. Big Senpai has Trinity, and they just go to game two. Yes. <laughs> Wolf a ring. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry. Is um is James Arc on Chaos Warriors? Yes, with flips. Flips. Hmm. And then what is um what is Tenpai on? Chaos Turbo. So I, okay. I don't remember seeing goats when I played him. Yeah. Ooh. Both players are probably aware of each other's decks as well. Yeah. They've been watching each other very closely on uh, all the Obelisk games. They've all been tagged whenever the other's been playing. So it Ooh, is oh, yeah. semi-open deck list in a way. No response okay, from him here on the breaker. Uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like that was correct. If he was going to use either of those back rows, he probably just should have did it in response to um, if, Breakers. If, if counter that's a, yeah. If that's a set faith, this game might be over. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, he did set two back rows, so he probably read the duo happening. Yeah, that was a little obvious that it could have been fate. He's using it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why not? If he's going to get a card back. Just take it away from him. Yeah, he's going to play around it regardless. Just simplifying the game state is uh, pretty strong here when you're up a card yeah. already. I, I would imagine James benefits from a simplified game state, but yeah, that's a perfect card to draw against a fresh set. He, he benefits from a simplified game state, but he benefits when he's even or when he's already up a card advantage. So just the fact that Tempai has, has just one card more is all the difference maker here. I want. I wonder if he gonna if he's gonna use a uh, solemn if he get if he's met with a. Oh no! Nope. No, he's just gonna attack in the Grave Reaper's spy. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so rough. Oh, no. oh the catches. That's why I play the cards so you can catch Blade Knights. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, literally. Here's the thing, though. The, that duo, like, it was pretty good because he got to resolve it twice, even though it was only for three cards instead of four. But um, if he doesn't have an answer to this Blade Knight here, nope. I mean, James, James is just draw, draw out of it, you know? Yeah. yeah exactly. All he needs is, like, Tribe if he plays that. Ah, but Thunder Dragon here is going to add some cards to Templar's hand. No Dark Shade Grave yet. Mm hmm. You can easily get one with tributing a spy if he needs to. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, flip card destruction. Excellent. 
just going to get rid of those Thunder Dragons that he just put in his hand, draw some cards, and uh, Lucky Stream doesn't have anything in his hand, so he's not going to get anything from this card destruction. One-sided here. Oh, and there's a dock. <laughs> oh, and there's a Knight Assailant on top of that. That's going to get back to the back. Oh, my goodness. Everything is going right so far for Templi. Yeah, these interactions that the, uh, the Chaos Turbo deck has are just really, really strong. Pot agreed found from the card destruction there. That gives you another option for power cards you can get back in faith. Yeah, gracious. When it rains, it pours, and he's yeah. he's going. Someone just asked in the chat if we're ever going to stream on Twitch again. I believe this is actually being streamed on Twitch right now. <laughs> it's probably in the YouTube chat. So don't they combine? No. There's okay. two separate things. This Oof. is a big player right here. Man, this is so rough for, <laughs> for Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he has had all the answers. My God. Or rather, Templar has had all the answers, not James. No, Templar has been, in, in, although he's new, he's been studying and training so hard for this tournament. Like he's gone out of his way to try and play like the best players in the time he's had, try and catch up, which is very impressive. Um, and it's it goes to show. I mean, he got lucky so far in this game, but yeah, it's a little bit more than luck to get to get against these players, I suppose. Luck is when skill meets opportunity. Right now, he just oh, yeah. what he has. Oh, oh man! Yep. Yeah, we knew that was. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh yeah, he's he's, he's got all the Trinity. Yeah, he's now it's now it's a question on what do you take here. He's looking for a snatch, probably, or a heavy. Uh, yeah, definitely heavy. Yeah, I think that was correct when taking graceful charity. Already, <laughs> no, he already had the heavy. Oh, <laughs> there we go. so dirty. And I was... No response. Oh, oh God. chain book on the fade. Go to game two, man. This is this isn't nice. I mean, uh, it's GG. Uh, Sorry, but well, <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't have um, not yet. Chaos, yet, but he doesn't have anything to clear this Kaiko. So even if he draws Chaos, he still has to find an answer to the Kaiko somehow. So he needs like he's looking. Moon. He's looking for the snatch. Snatch would do it. He might play Tsuke if he plays down, he flips. That would, that would only be like 42, though, so he needs Snatch and like a monster that he can summon. He just got rid of two monsters here with Deco and Spy. I think he has, he has it. something. He's got something. Okay, so he's got a book here. Okay. Well, probably should have just moved the great other Gravekeeper Spy into attack mode and, and poke for 12. Hmm. Because what is like he gonna top deck a monster and then not attack into the like if it's Blade Knight? There's two Blade Knights gone, but if he just miraculously top decks the other one, it's like he's have to attack the fate here. He could he could have been wary of a uh, Zero Priest, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That was the background real. It's possible, but still, like yeah, he's playing what probably like one Azura Priest. I don't think it's worth yeah. like taking into account over twelve damage. Okay. Sure, but that's maybe why um, Tenply was just a bit hesitant. But um, even if you have, like, even if he gets the Azura Priest, it's like, yeah, he gets rid of the, um... Oh, well, that's, that's impressive, but... That's I guess the Azura Priest wouldn't have mattered there. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-seven on BLS, there it is. There we go. Oh. Yeah, but atta attacking with, um, I'm pretty sure, right? It would have been 24 and 20. It's 27. 30. 27. So, yeah, if he, if he did poke with the, for 1200 with the other one, a Chaos Sorcerer would have won him that game there. Yeah, perhaps so. he already had um, BLS. Possible. 
And he should have just summoned it last turn when he had the guy go. <laughs> yeah, true. With that being said, that game went as well as it could have. Oh, oh I mean, yeah. it was definitely in Templi's favor, no, no matter what there. I think, uh, game, yeah. I think that's got to be the harshest yeah. sack I've seen in Academy League so far. <laughs> like that was. Um... Let's see how James recovers. Literally, yeah. James, James could do nothing. Yeah, they... It's not a sack when that's what the deck is trying to do, right? Like, that's the deck's yeah. dream is to just go up and card advantage and keep it. You have all the tools to do so. Very effective there. But now James is going to start. We'll see what he can do here. Does shoot? That would be a good one. Yeah, just fire it Ooh. off. We'll get to see what's in the hand. Don't want that TD resolving. Oh, he's going to play. Oh, that's my Chain MST. Interesting. No cross shoot for you. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, and we see sideboard card here it's with Kinetic Soldier. It's a great card for these warrior matchups. Definitely. Try infecting virus, Grave for Spy, Deco, and Regeki Break. So now he knows he has to play around a Regeki Break. Hmm. What do you think he sent back here? I, don't uh, I would have said Spy too. Yeah, I concur. He'll set the Cypher as bait. She wants a deco to resolve. Or uh, it's a tough one. Just, yeah, yeah, use break break too early. I mean, or you could just set deco already, and then if they do summon a, a warrior monster, I mean, are they gonna attack in the cypher soldier? So mind game that you kind of have to play. Mm -hmm. summon it, or you could get something like Kaiko to come down early and then deal with it with, with I'm just drive about the plus whatever you draw. What knock and the mind control? I think he's a Cypher it. Soldier here. That's Ooh. just... Ooh. Breaker's going to force the Regeki break. Discard the... Tribe. You you discard, discard probably... Not the Tribe, because all the Warriors... Oh, look at that. Well, it's still going to reforce it here, because he's going to activate it. But now he at least killed the monster. Yeah, he should have just Regeki break beforehand. I think he's valuing the Cypher Soldier a little too much. He shouldn't have discarded Book of Moon either. Why shouldn't he have uh, discarded Book of Moon? Because it's just way better defensively than like Cypher Soldier. I guess he, he could keep the Tribe, or get rid of Tribe, tribe too. Medic. Either way, he, pr he should just kill the Breaker and cut the Deco on board. Yeah. But this way, this is just where uh, come down because then he would be drawing that book of moon that he discarded, and then the next card here. Yeah, watch him draw Trinity. Nope, that's a cipher. <laughs> is Tribe even that good against warriors, really? Oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking now that I was working it out is that he probably should have uh, discarded Tribe. You said Tribe is not good against Warriors? Nah, I mean, it's it's a good comeback when they have multiple stuff out if they're going to put a bunch of Warriors on the board. Yeah, but it's too early here to do anything. Yeah, it's just way too early at this point. Plus, Cypher Soldier can deal with the Warriors through battle just by fighting them. Mm. And here, here's what it's going to do. It's going to deal a million damage yeah, to this Mystic Swordsman. There's no way I like it. We'll see. Bad. It's probably but, a Book of Moon, right? Grazie, Arma. We'll see. If this resolves, I'll be amazed. He's thinking. That might mean he's going... Yeah, it's going to be... Jesus. 2450 to the face. <laughs> Kinetic Soldier, my favorite evil swarm. Well, this is what I was going to bring up, is that if he has Kaiko in the hand, it might be fine to just take it and not use oh, one of your back rows on the Cypher Soldier. Oh. He's thinking about the song. Or book. Yeah. You see, I've been yes, talking to... Scully and Chris Barrett recently. And uh, I'm calling it Cypher Soldier. I shouldn't be doing that. It's Kinetic Soldier. Kinetic Soldier, yeah. I think it's like possibly quite an overrated yes. card, to be honest. Uh, me too. I think it's really good. But that's just me. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was speaking to Scully and Chris Perovic. They're a huge advocate of Kinetic Soldier, but I think it's... But they're not tough for. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Neither are we. 
Well, there you go. This is a, a good answer, for example. Yeah, Ninja Grandmaster coming does through. Does he take a damage? At the start of damage step, so he does not. Wow. No. Yeah, it's just like a... It's like a Mystic Swords in level 2 for uh, face-ups. Oh, Templar is dealing with the... with the breaks. Yeah, it's not looking good for Templar this game. I honestly think it 